Hi everyone, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute cardigan with this lacy shell stitch pattern on the bottom. So this cardigan can be made in a number of different sizes and for all of the information on how to make the different sizes please see the description box below. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. So to begin your cardigan, you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot, take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. You then want to take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there we have a slip knot. And now once you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain. And we are going to chain 85. So chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 85. So there I have finished making my foundation chain and now we are on to round one. So to begin round one, we are going to work one double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook and here is the second chain and you want to yarn over and go down into this chain, yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet into that chain and now you want to do one double crochet into each of the next 11 chains. So we're going to do one into the next chain and one into the next and keep going until you have 12 double crochets in total with that first one that we worked. So there I have finished working those double crochets and you should find that you have 12 double crochets in total with that first one that we worked into the second chain from the hook. So you should have 12 double crochets there. And now into the next chain we are going to work a corner. And throughout our cardigan we are going to work lots of corners and whenever we work a corner we are going to do the exact same thing. So whenever we work a corner, we're going to work double crochet, then chain one, and then a double crochet all into the same chain or the same space. So you want to yarn over and go down into this next chain here and work one double crochet and then chain one and then work a second double crochet back down into the same chain. So there we have double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all into that next chain there and we have worked our first corner. And now you want to do one double crochet into each of the next 16 chains. So we are doing 16 double crochets. So do one into this next chain here and then work a second into the next chain and a third into the next and keep going until you have 16. So there I have finished working those 16 double crochets and now into the next chain here we are going to do another corner and we're going to do the exact same thing as we did back here we're going to work double crochet, chain one, double crochet all into the same chain so work one double crochet 
then chain one and then work a second double crochet back down into that same chain there. So there we have a corner into that chain and now you want to work one double crochet into each of the next 24 chains. So we are doing 24 more double crochets. So do one into the next chain and one into the next and a third into the next chain and keep going until you have 24. So there I have worked those 24 double crochets and now into the next chain here we're going to work another corner. So you need to work double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all into this next chain like that. And now we are going to work 16 double crochets or one double crochet into each of the next 16 chains. So work one double crochet into this next chain here and then a second into the next and keep going until you have 16. So there I have 16 double crochets and now into the next chain we are going to work another corner and this is our last corner of round one. So work double crochet, chain one double crochet all into this next chain here like that and now you should find that you have 12 chains left so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve chains left at the end of this round. And we're going to finish off by doing one double crochet into each of these chains. So we're finishing off by working twelve double crochets. So like that. So there I have done 12 double crochets to finish off round one. And now in this round we have already started to add in the shape of our cardigan. It's kind of hard to see at this stage but this small section here will form the first half of the front of the cardigan and then this section here of 16 double crochets will form the first sleeve, then the long section will form the back and then we have the other sleeve and then the other half of the front. And now we can move on to round two. So to begin this round, you want to chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're going to start off by doing one double crochet into every single stitch until you reach the first chain one or the first chain one space here. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch here as our chain one did not count as a stitch and work one double crochet and then do one double crochet into the next stitch and one into the next and just keep working that all the way along one double crochet into each stitch until you reach the first chain one here. I have reached the first chain one space here so I did one double crochet into this last double crochet and then I have stopped right before this first chain one and we are going to go down into this chain one and work a corner and just as last round whenever we work a corner we work double crochet chain one double crochet all down into this space here 
So yarn over and go down into the chain one space and work double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all down into that same space. And there we have worked our first corner of round two. And now we're going to do one double crochet into this next stitch here. So into the first double crochet after the chain one space. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. And the next. And you want to keep doing that all the way along until you reach the next chain one space here. So keep doing one double crochet into each stitch until you reach the next chain one. So I have finished working those double crochets all the way along and I have reached the next chain one here. So I did one double crochet into this last stitch here and I have reached the chain one space. And now we're going to go down into this chain one space and work another corner. So yarn over, go down into the chain one and work double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And we are going down into the chain one space here, not the actual little chain one stitch. That little chain one is really hard to get into, so you just want to go down and work that corner into the chain one space. And we are just going to continue working this all the way along for round two. So you want to do one double crochet into each stitch until you reach the next chain one space here. So you'll do one double crochet into this last stitch here and then stop before the chain one. And then you want to go down into the chain one space and work a corner. And then do one double crochet into the next stitch and then one double crochet into each stitch all the way along until you reach the next chain one space and then work a corner into that chain one space. So that is the last one of the round here. And then just do one double crochet into every single stitch until you reach the end of the round. So you're doing double crochets, one into each stitch all the way along. And then when you reach the chain one space, work a corner down into that space. And remember, whenever you work a corner, you want to do double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all down into that space. So continue to work that for round two. So there we have finished round two. So this is what you should have. And now we can move on to round three. So for the next eight rounds, so for rounds three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, so eight rounds, you just want to repeat round two, so the round that we just did. So for each round, you want to start off by chaining one and turning, and that chain one never counts as a stitch. And then you want to do one double crochet into each stitch until you reach the first chain one space here and then go down into that chain one and work a corner and then do one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into each stitch along until you reach the next chain one space here and then go down into that chain one space and do a corner into that one and then work one double crochet into each stitch until you reach the next chain one space and then do a corner down into that space as well. And then do one double crochet into each stitch until the last chain one space at the end here and then go down into the chain one space and do a corner into that one and then finish off by doing one double crochet into each stitch until the end of the round. So you want to do that all the way around for round three, then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we're doing eight repeats of round two. So you can go back in the video and rewatch that round as many times as you need to, but it's pretty easy to do. You're just working double crochets and then corners into the chain one space. Come 
to the end of round 10 and I have finished working those rounds. So I did those eight repeats of round two. So I have rounds one and two and then rounds three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten are all just repeats of round two and at the end of that round this is what you should have so your cardigan would have got a lot bigger so we have the first half of the front of our cardigan here and then this section here is going to form the first sleeve and then the long section is going to form the back then this is the other sleeve and then this will form the other half of the front. So that is what you should have at the end of round 10 and now we can move on to round 11. And round 11 is a really important round as in this round we're going to be adding in the shape of our cardigan. So you want to start off by chaining one and turning and this chain one never counts as a stitch like that. And now we are going to go down into this first stitch here and work one double crochet. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch and work one double crochet. And then into the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets, both down into this next one. So get down into the next stitch and work two double crochets. So there we have one double crochet into the first stitch and two into the next and you want to keep repeating that until you reach the first chain one space here. So we're doing one double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets until you reach the first chain one. So do one double crochet into the next stitch and then two into the next and then one into the next stitch and two both down into this next one and just keep repeating that. So I have worked that all the way along and I have reached my first chain one space here and you should find that you did that set of stitches 11 times. So you should have worked one double crochet and then two double crochets into the next stitch 11 times in total along this section. And now we have reached the first chain one space here. So I did two double crochets into this last stitch and we have reached the first chain one. And we're going to go down into this chain one space and work one double crochet. So do one double crochet down into the chain one space. And now you want to stop here and skip all of these stitches and move on to the next chain one space here. So we have done one double crochet into that chain one space and you're gonna stop there and skip all of these stitches until you reach the next chain one space here. And we are going to go down into this next chain one and work a double crochet. So yarn over and go down into the next chain one space here and work a double crochet and try to make this nice and neat like that. And there we have created our first sleeve or our first armhole. And now you want to do one double crochet into this next stitch here. and then two double crochets both into the next stitch. And we're just going to continue working that all the way along until you reach the next chain one. So we're doing one double crochet, two double crochets, one, two, one, two, all the way along this long section along the back until you reach the next chain one. So 
So I have finished working that all the way along. So I did one, two, one, two, and finished off with two double crochets into this last stitch here. And we have reached our next chain one. And we're going to do the same thing as before. You want to go down into this chain one space and work one double crochet and then stop here and skip all of these stitches until you reach the next chain one space. So this is the last one of the round and we're going to go down into this chain one and work a double crochet. So do one double crochet into this last chain one here. And there we have created our next sleeve or our next armhole. And now we are going to continue working our sets of one double crochet, two double crochets, all the way along this last section here. But what we are actually going to do is we are going to flip those sets around. So instead of doing one, two, one, two, you want to do two double crochets into this first stitch here. and then one double crochet into the next stitch and then two into the next one and then one into the next and just continue that all the way along and the reason that we have flipped that around is so that we end up with just one double crochet into this last stitch at the end instead of two and that will give us a straighter edge if we had just kept our sets the same you would have ended up having two double crochets into this last stitch at the end and the edge could have gone out a little bit. So by flipping them around we end up having one double crochet into the last stitch at the end and we get a nice neat edge. So just continue working two one two one along this last section. So there we have come to the end of round 11. So I did one double crochet into this last stitch at the end. And at the end of that round, this is what you should have. So we have added in the shape of our cardigan. And at the end of this round, you should have 136 double crochets. And it's really important that you have that number. So I would recommend going back and double checking that you do have 136. And if you do, we're ready to move on to round 12. And this is the first round of our pretty lace shell stitch pattern. So we're going to start off by chaining one and turning. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now we're going to go down into this first stitch here and work one double crochet. So yarn over, go down into the first stitch and work a double crochet. And now you want to chain two. So chain one and two and then go back down into the same stitch here and work a stitch called two double crochets together. So we are going to be using the stitch two double crochets together lots and lots throughout the shell stitch pattern. And whenever we do two double crochets together, we do two double crochets both into the same stitch, but we are not going to complete either of them. And then you want to complete them both together at the same time. So yarn over, go down into this first stitch here, the same one that our double crochet chain two comes out of and start to work a double crochet. But you want to stop here right before the last step. So usually we would yarn over and pull through these two loops to finish the stitch. But we're not going to do that. We're going to stop here and move on to the next one. So yarn over, go back down into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And then yarn over and pull through two loops. So there we have started a second double crochet. So we have two incomplete double crochets and three loops on our hook. And now you want to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And there we have worked two double crochets together. So into this first stitch here, we have worked double crochet, chain two, and then two double crochets together all into that stitch. And now you want to skip the next three stitches. So we're going to skip one, two, and three. 
and then into the next stitch here work a single crochet so skip three stitches and then go down into the next stitch yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook so work a single crochet into that one and now you want to skip three more stitches so skip one two and three and then into this next stitch here we are going to work a shell and whenever we work a shell we are doing three sets of two double crochets together with chain twos in between them so we're going to do two double crochets together chain two two double crochets together chain two and then two double crochets together all into the same stitch to make a shell so we have done single crochet skip one two three then yarn over and go into the next stitch and work two double crochets together just as we just did and now chain two and then yarn over and go back down into the same stitch and work a second set of two double crochets together and then chain two and then work a third and final set of two double crochets together into that same stitch and there we have made our first shell so we have one set then chain two then a second set, chain two, and then a third set. And now you want to skip the next three stitches. So skip one, two, and three. And we're going to repeat from here. So from the single crochet up to the end of that, skip three stitches again and again and again for round 12. So we're going to do single crochet, skip three stitches, then a shell into the next stitch and then skip three more stitches then single crochet into the next stitch skip three stitches shell skip three stitches so we have done shell skip three stitches so now do a single crochet into the next stitch and then skip one two and three and then we're going to do a shell into this next one and remember for a shell we are doing three sets of two double crochets together with chain two in between each set so like that and now you want to skip three more stitches one two and three and now do that again work a single crochet into the next stitch then skip one two three and then do a shell into the next one so we're doing two double crochets together chain two two double crochets together chain two and then two double crochets together all into the same stitch for a shell and then skip one two and three and we're just going to keep repeating that all the way along for round 12 
So I'm just coming to the end of round 12. So I have done my last set of single crochet, skip three, shell, and then skip one, two, and three. And you should have done 16 of those sets of stitches in total. So we have our first little half a shell here, and then starting from the single crochet to the end of the skip three, you should have done that 16 times all the way around. And now to finish off this round, we have done, we have done shell, skip one, two, three for our last set. And now we are going to do a single crochet into the next stitch after that skip three. And then you want to skip two stitches. So we're going to skip one and two and then into the next stitch, so this should be the last stitch of the round, you want to work two double crochets together. Then chain two, and then one double crochet into that last stitch. So we have done two double crochets together, chain two, and then one double crochet, all into that last stitch at the end and there we have finished round 12 and as you can see we get this really pretty start of our shell pattern and now we are on to round 13. So to begin this round you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're going to start off by going down into this first stitch here. So this is the last double crochet from last round and work a single crochet. So go down into this last stitch here and work one single crochet. And now you want to chain three. So chain one, two and three. And now you want to skip on to the first single crochet here. So the single crochet in between these shells and work a double crochet. So yarn over and go down into this little single crochet and do one double crochet. And then chain one, two and three. And now we are going to move on to our first shell here. And we're going to go into the middle of this shell. So into the second set of two double crochets together. So that is here. And you want to go into this stitch, into the middle of the shell and work a single crochet. And then chain one, two and three and then go to the next single crochet in between our shells and work a double crochet and chain one, two and three. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around for round 13. You want to do single crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, all the way along and we're going to be working our single crochets into the middle of the shells so here in the middle stitch and then we're going to work our double crochets into the single crochets from last round so into these little single crochets in between the shells so do a single crochet into the middle of the shell chain three and then do a double crochet into the single crochet and chain three and just keep repeating this. So I have finished working that all the way along for round 13. So I did my last double crochet into the single crochet here and then chained three. And then we're going to finish off this round by doing a single crochet into the stitch at the end. So we have done double crochet, chain three, and now you want to go to the very last stitch at the end of the round. So this is a double crochet and work one single crochet into this stitch like that. And there we have finished round 13. So you can see this is what you have. And now we can move on to round 14. So to begin round 14, you want to chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. 
And for this round, we are going to do single crochet and then a shell and then single crochet shell all the way along. So we're going to go down into this first stitch here. So this is the last single crochet from last round and work one single crochet into that stitch. And now you want to move on to the next double crochet here. So the first double crochet. So do not do anything with the chains and skip on to the double crochet. And we are going to do a shell into this stitch. And whenever we work a shell, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. You want to do two double crochets together three times with chain twos in between them. So do two double crochets together into this stitch. And then chain two. And then do two double crochets together. And chain two. And then do a third and final set of two double crochets together all into that same stitch. So there we have a shell into that double crochet. And now you want to do a single crochet into this next single crochet here. And then skip on to the next double crochet and do a shell into this stitch. like that. And we're just going to keep repeating this all the way along for round 14. Whenever you get to a single crochet, you want to work a single crochet down into that stitch. And then whenever you get to a double crochet, you want to do a shell. So we're doing single crochet shell, single crochet shell, all the way along. And remember, whenever you do a shell, this is what you need to do two double crochets together, chain two, two double crochets together, chain two, and then two double crochets together, all into the same stitch. I'm just coming to the end of round 14. So I have done my last shell into this last double crochet here. And now we're going to finish off by doing a single crochet into the final single crochet at the end of the round. And now we can move on to round 15. So to begin this round, you want to chain one and turn. And round 15 is a pretty easy round. We're going to start off by doing a double crochet into this first stitch here. So down into the first single crochet. And now you want to chain three and then move on to the first shell. And just as we did before, we're going to do a single crochet into the middle of this shell and then chain three and then do a double crochet into the next single crochet in the middle of the shells, so in between the shells, and then chain three. And now go to the next shell and do a single crochet into the top of this shell and chain three. So we're going into the middle of the shells just as we did before, so into the second set of two double crochets together. And you just want to continue this all the way along for round 15. We're going to do double crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three. And we're going to be working our double crochets into the single crochets from last round. So here, here, and here. 
and then we're going to be working our single crochets into the middle of the shells so into the middle stitch so just keep repeating that all the way around and this round is very similar to round 13 so just keep doing double crochet chain three single crochet chain three all the way along working that all the way along and I have my last single crochet and chain three and now we're going to work our last double crochet into the last single crochet at the end of the round so into that last little single crochet there finish off by working a double crochet into that stitch so there we have done round 15 and now we are on to round 16 so chain one and turn to begin this round and we're going to start off by working a double crochet down into this stitch so work one double crochet down into the first stitch and then chain two and then work two double crochets together into that same stitch like that so there we have the double crochet chain two and then two double crochets together all down into that first stitch there and now you want to move on to the first single crochet and we're going to work a single crochet down into this stitch so go down into the first single crochet and work a single crochet and now move on to the double crochet here and we are going to do a shell into that double crochet so do three sets of two double crochets together with chain twos in between them just as we have done lots of times before all into this same double crochet like that and now you want to do a single crochet into the single crochet here and then do a shell into this double crochet here and we're just going to keep repeating this all the way around for round 16 or all the way along we're going to do single crochet shell single crochet shell I'm just finishing up round 16 so I have done my single crochet into this last single crochet here and now we're going to finish off by going into this last stitch at the very end of the round and do two double crochets together and then chain one and two and then do one double crochet back down into that same stitch so we're finishing off with two double crochets together chain two and then double crochet into that last stitch at the end and there we have finished round 16 and we are ready to move on to the next round so now for the rest of the length of our cardigan we are just going to repeat the last four rounds that we just did again and again and again so those are rounds 13 14 15 and 16 so we just finished up round 16 so now we can move on and repeat round 13 and then round 14 15 and 16 and then we'll do round 13 again then 14 15 16 and just keep going until you have the length that you want and you can do as many repeats as you like so depending on what size you're making and how long you want it to be you can do as many repeats of those rounds as you like but I would recommend finishing on either round 14 or 16 so that you get this pretty shell stitch edge at the bottom so just keep repeating rounds 13 through to 16 and you can go back in the video and re-watch those rounds as many times as you need to 
But once you have done that, this is what you will have. And for this cardigan here, I repeated each of those rounds two times. So I finished off on 16 here after repeating each of those four rounds two times. And then when you get to the end and you have done your last repeat, fasten off. So pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn, leaving a tail to weave in or work over later. And you then want to work a quick single crochet border up each of these two sides. So to do that, you want to attach your yarn into the bottom here, so into the bottom. And I actually went down 0.5 millimeter crochet hook. So for my cardigan here, this white one, I used a four millimeter hook. And then for the border, I used a 3.5 millimeter hook. And that just makes it easier to get into the side of the stitches here. And then you just want to do single crochets evenly up the side. So just do single crochets all the way up. And then when you get to the top, fasten off and then do the same thing on the other side. But you start off at the top here and go down. And then once you have done that, you can weave all of your ends nice and securely into the inside of your cardigan. So use a yarn needle and weave all of the ends in. And then you want to attach some buttons to one side. And I just did two little buttons at the top. And if you are making some of the smaller sizes, do make sure that these are on nice and securely. And then you want to add button loops or button chains on the opposite side. So to do that, just attach your yarn into the stitch and then make a chain long enough to go around the button and work a slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off and then weave that end in and do that for each button that you have. And there we have finished. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And in the description box below this video, I will leave a link to where you can find the written pattern for this cardigan. And I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter accounts. So I always like to post photos and updates on there, especially Instagram. And I would love to see photos of your crochet work on there as well. And thank you again for watching. Bye.